This is built entirely with CSS and I have no idea how it's related to this video. Today I'm gonna share 6 CSS techniques that I've never seen in the AI generated codes. If you're new here, do these things and let's keep in mind that the last one changed my life. Yeah, it didn't, but it is called will change, so we will see about that in just a minute. For now, let's start with a new solution for the most complex issue in web development and that is how to center a div or how to place a div element in the center of the screen. There is yet another way to do that by setting place items to center while displaying a grid. That was cool, but what's even cooler is that you can define variables inside the CSS class. This is useful when you want to use one specific value across several properties, for example, width or colors. Speaking of width, you can also use aspect ratio to set a aspect ratio for your element. This one is useful when you need a square with a percentage based width. It can also be useful when you're trying to show a thumbnail that always stays in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. This is really good for responsiveness guys, I mean Come on motherfucker! Come on motherfuckers, come on! Come on man! Come on motherfuckers, come on! You can have a glass effect with only one line of code using backdrop filter. That was quick. But now let's find an easier way to fit a picture inside the IMG tag without it stretching the picture. Object fit property is a great way to do that. It works exactly like when you set a background size on a div element. And finally, this one gives the browser a heads up to optimize the element for the upcoming changes to prevent choppy animations. It is used in Framer Motion Library to create the smooth animations. If you know any other helpful tricks, please let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching and have a good day. <laughs>